Hi guys, uh, today I'd like to review a program called Stroke It with you today. Um, Stroke It is a mouse gesture program. Essentially what you would do is hold down your middle mouse button, do some kind of squiggle of some sort, um, train Stroke It to recognize it, um, and, and Stroke It will um, assign those actions uh, to certain commands in the programs you use. Uh, for instance, if I hit um, an invert key, that brings up Photoshop or starts an instance of Photoshop um, if I didn't have one going. Um, I'm going to, you know, do a, a default workflow if I was just going to rely on the icon. So if I wanted to start sketching, I'd have to come in here and, okay, start sketching. Oh, that's not what I want. Um, let's get, um, like a pencil in here. And, oh, cry. It doesn't have any thick or thin. So you go to your windows and then you hit brushes and you start your shape dynamics. And close out of that. And now you can start sketching. You know, well and good. Now if I make a mistake, go ahead and erase. And when I, oh, oh wait, I had to start a new layer. So navigate over here and open up a new layer and then start sketching in there. As you can see, you know, typically you'll have workspace in the middle, you'll have your brushes to either side and your layers and colors and whatnot to the right. That's typically what happens. Um, um, and you're, you know, even if you have a dual monitor, actually that kind of exacerbates things because uh, as you can see, there was a lot of back and forth motions that were happening, and, and that wastes a lot of time. So the more you can center all your actions around your mouse, the better. Uh, most of you are probably doing shortcuts, you know, so that would be something like a hit B, and that starts into your uh, brush tool, hit E for eraser, um, you know, G for gradient, You know, etc. Um, and you know, I'm not saying to get rid of uh, shortcuts because actually the the gestures themselves rely on those shortcuts. Um, but what I find is that it's really great to layer mouse gestures along with shortcuts, and it really saves a lot of time. The shortcuts by themselves will save you about um, you know an hour or so a day. So very very well worth it in the productivity that you can. A gain by learning, taking the time to learn shortcuts. Uh, now, a gesture workflow, on the other hand, you know, could look something like this. You know, I can actually go ahead and go to you know, the full screen here, and uh, you know, stroke down, and that starts up my my brush. Now, if I didn't like the characteristics of that brush, I could stroke B. Some are more responsive than others. The alphabets, I find, tend to be a little bit more finicky than simple cardinal direction strokes. So if you can help it, do cardinal directions. Um, all right, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Start you know, doing a sketch here. Make sure that I'm on the right layer. OK, turn that off. You know what, and if I want to have a little bit of a Prismacolor kind of sketch here, I can go ahead and stroke C. And uh, that starts to you know, bring in a little bit more color in here, so we can have the the feel of a of a prisma color. So start trying to get the perspective and whatnot right. But this is just a simple side view. I want to darken up that blue considerably. And to get the right uh, stroke that's natural to the direction that you're sketching, I've assigned the flip command to gesture left. And if I really wanted to um, rotate the camera so I can flick up right, and that allows me to to rotate to where it's comfortable. So for instance there. 
notice that uh, the brush command actually toggles through the different commands that are available and that that's you know the pencil the history brush um, and then back to regular brush tools okay <laughs> something about the recording software is waking this out a little bit alright so let's add some more pencil strokes in there pen in some rudimentary rims okay and let's add a new layer and that I've assigned to down and up to create a new layer and go ahead and add a wash going across the side let's bring up that layer again make it multiply and erase the oops let's erase that a little bit there and add a lasso tool in there for the sharp area definition that out a little bit do another lasso tool Another make another layer. A marquee tool here. Nope, not squirt. And erase that out. Maybe do a gradient. in here and I've assigned the letter G to gradients here as well and after all that you can go ahead and flatten which is up and down and erase as needed so anyway, this was a pretty, I guess, rudimentary sketch. It's a little, little messy right now. But yeah, it's all right for now. Um, now. If I wanted to add another command in Stroke It, so I'll go ahead and go to Stroke It, and uh, let's see, let's go to Photoshop, and I want to add full screen here, so I'll go ahead to Photoshop, and right click and say New Command, and I'll start a new action and the nested command within there, and I'll go full screen, and um, 
Now it's looking for a hotkey here. So you, well, there's a bunch of things you can do, but hotkeys are usually what I'm um, successful with. So assign a hotkey, and that hotkey uh, for Photoshop is F for full screen. And let's name that action as well. Action kind of means you know the gesture and you know the associated um, you know hotkey is uh, nested inside it. So let's do up for full screen and add that gesture. So that allows us to toggle through the various full screen options that are available to us. So anyway, that's how I use Stroke It. Um, it's a very useful program and I hope that you find it productive as well. Thank you for your time.